Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I'm God's servant, God's powerful champion, and because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Now this morning, I'll share with you three ways on how to live a dynamic life. Ilan? Three. And this is the one big message of this talk. Don't place your limits to the limitlessness of God. Sabi nyo nga? <laughs> Ang hirap na limitlessness, na? No? Ah, kabulol. Bigla nawala eh. Don't place your limit to... Nawala na no, bigla. <laughs> Three. Number one, let's go to the first one. If you want to live a dynamic life, you need to go beyond self. Sabi nyo nga, go beyond self. Now, tignan natin yung earlier verse of Acts 1 verse 8. Tignan natin yung Acts 6 and 7. And you will see here, ang sabi dito, then they gathered around him, they gathered G around Jesus, the disciples, and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel. And Jesus said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by His own authority. Lord, will you restore the kingdom? Alam mo yung mga, yung mga disciples, they have this thinking that Jesus will restore the glory days of Israel when Jesus was resurrected. Ano ba yung glory days of Israel? Kailangan maunawaan natin to para malaman natin kung ano yung gustong sabihin ng binasa natin. You know, during the time of David, the kingdom of Israel is like United States. Sino sa inyo nakapunta na sa US? Sino sa inyo gustong pumunta sa US? Yan, doon sa better living sa amin, meron US. Inviting ko kayo, ha? Pero yung... yung Kingdom of Israel is like United States. They are, during the time, the most powerful nation. They call the shots. Sila talagang, sila yung nasusunod because they are the ruling power. And the nations around them would like to ally with them. Nakikigampi sa kanila. At sa kanila, during their time, if you want to be allied with this powerful nation, you have to give your daughter as their wife to the king. Ay, ang daming asawa ng mga hari. Kaya nung, pina, nung pinasa na ni David kay Solomon yung kingdom, si Solomon, ang dami niyang asawa. Bakit? Kasi powerful sila. At yung mga, na, yung mga neighboring nation, binibigay yung anak nila para maging kakampi. But after Solomon, the kingdom was split na hati and nations start conquering them. Different nation. Nandiyan yung Babylonians, kinonquer sila. Yung Persians, kinonquer sila. Greeks, kinonquer sila. Romans, conquered by Romans. And because they were subjugated. Sabi nyo nga, subjugated. For 100 years, they were powerless. Powerless sila. They were heavily taxed. Alipin sila. That's why they've been waiting for a Messiah that will restore the political power to them. Yan yung inaantay nila. Na ibabalik nung Messiah na ito yung political power sa kanila. Na sila na ulit yung maging nation na magaling. The kingdom that is ruling. They want the glory days of Israel. Nostalgia. But God has a bigger plan. And it's beyond them. Grabe yung plano ng Diyos. It's bigger than restoring the kingdom of Israel. It's establishing God's kingdom 
to rule them. That's why in Acts 1 8, you will see here, and you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Anong kingdom ng Israel? Hindi. Anong sabi ni Lord? My kingdom. Yung kingdom ko. You have to go beyond yourself. Alam niyo yung feast, bago ito naging feast, alam niyo na ito, tayo ay Light of Jesus Family. Yan ang tawag natin nun. Hindi pa feast. But still, we are under Light of Jesus Family. You know, for 30 years, sila ba? Yung LOJ, they're gathering every week and they have more than 2,000 people in membership. At grabe yung mga, grabe yung mga servants yan. Grabe yung commitment ng mga taong yan. And in their gathering, they also have worship. Kaya lang yung worship nila, hindi katulad ng worship natin sa feast. Yung worship nila ng araw, yung mga kanta, paborito namin nila, Brother Rio yan, yung mga kantang yung, yung ang buhay ng Kristiyano ay masayang tunay. Hey, hey! Masayang tu yung, yung ganun. Yung talagang, grabe yung pag nag-worship kami. Talagang yung, yung talagang with action. With action. Yan yung kanta. Yung mga uh, roll over the ocean, roll over the sea. Mga ganyan yung binabanata namin nung araw. But we, they've experienced the power of God. They've experienced the presence of God. Yung mga kabataan, tanong ko nga kayo. Kung kunyari ang kanta natin dito sa feast, Ganyan pa rin. Ang buhay ng Kristiyano ay masayang tunay. Hey, hey! Masayang tunay. Hey, hey! Pupunta ba kayo? <laughs> yung dalawa, magkaiba yung sagot eh. Yung lalaki sa rin. Yung babae. <laughs> Hindi, ano? But you know, buti na lang, go, be, go beyond himself. Because God impressed on him to put up the feast. So, anong ginawa? We changed the worship style. Iba yung mga songs natin. We changed the preaching style. Alam niyo ba dati yung pag ako nagtoto, ako nakabarong. Yung may biyak sa likod. Binibili ko lang sa ukay-ukay. Hindi ko alam, galing pala sa patay. Nakabarong. Hindi pwede hindi ka nakabarong. Pero ngayon, kahit anong suot mo. Why? Kasi... We have to change the preaching style. We change venue. Dati, dun sa dating charismatic community, ay kahit saan ka magpunta, kahit yung pinag-worshipan ninyo, yung pinag-gatheran ninyo, basketball court, na walang aircon, pag nag-worship dun, grabe talaga. Yung talagang tumataktak yung pawis, yung pag nag- ah, ang buhay ng Christ, yung ganun. Kala ko, nagwimisik ng holy water. Pero pawis lang yun. <laughs> Hindi kami nagre-reklamo. Pero minsan may mga tao dito sa feast, yung hindi lang malamig ng konti, nagre-reklamo. Ang oh, init naman. Ang init ngayon. Yung ganun, hindi naman nagtatahit siya. Eh, biro lang yun. Pero, naman yung sinasabi ko, yung kailangan baguhin. Kailangan baguhin. We have to go beyond ourselves. And now, we have more than 520 feasts all over the world. Why? Because the leaders go beyond themselves. Friends, you will live a dynamic life if you will live beyond yourself. Kaya ako gusto gusto ko yung tagline ng Nescafe. Yan talaga yung paborito kong tagline. Para kanino ka bumabangan. Ganda ng tagline na yan. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yung para. Huwag niyong tatanggalin. Kasi pag kanino ka bumabangan, para kang babaero nun. <laughs> ano ibig sabihin nun? You have to go beyond yourself. Pag sarili mo lang iniisip mo, walang gana yung buhay mo. Tama? Yung pag hindi maganda yung nangyara sa buhay mo, tapos iniisip mo ng sarili mo, you will... May higit pa, ayoko na rin sa mundong ito, you will commit suicide. Bakit kasi hindi maganda yung nangyari sa buhay ko eh? Pero kung nabubuhay ka para sa iba, sa mas malaking aspeto ng buhay, mas may gana ang buhay. Yes? Kaya ngayon, gusto ko sanang i-honor yung mga tao 
na they go beyond themselves. Yung mga gumigising sa umaga, yung kahit alam mo, pagod, puyat, gumigising sa umaga para ihanda yung mga anak. Sino yan? Yung mga nanay. Pwede ba natin palakpakan yung mga nanay? Gusto ko nang i-honor yung mga tao na, alam mo yun, kahit na pagod magtrabaho, minsan seven days a week magtrabaho, four hours lang yung tulog, nagtatrabaho, nag-uwi pa ng trabaho sa bahay, pero nagtatrabaho pa rin bakit? Para sa pamilya. Parang pa natin yung mga tatay. At gusto ko rin sana i-honor yung mga anak. Tapos nga kami ng mga anak. Yan, hanggang ngayon, umaasa ka pa rin sa nanay mo, tatay mo, 40 years old ka na. Then, 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 then. Yung mga anak na tumutulong sa bahay, yung kahit na hirap, nagbibigay tumutulong sa mga magulang, palakpakan natin yung mga anak na yan. Why? Because you go beyond yourselves. Kaya ako ngayong mayot at rese, bumoto tayo. Yung kahit hindi ka maapektuhan, kahit sino manalo. Kasi may mga ganyan tao yung, kahit sino manalo, hindi sila maapektuhan nung kung sino yung politikong maupo. Like na ba, mga doktor? Yung mga doktor, kahit sino maupo dyan, mga tao magkakasakit. Kaya pupuntahan sila. Tama? Or may mga businessman, kahit sino maupo dyan, hindi maapektuhan. Bakit kasi yung negosyo nila, too big. Diba? <laughs> Bibili ka ng too big pag na problema sa may lilad. Hindi ka maapektuhan. Kaya nang sabi nila, okay na yan, kahit sino manalo. No. You have to go beyond yourself. Both the right people. Kung merong hint ng korupsyon, yung tao, huwag nyo na i-boto. Huwag nyo na i-boto. Kahit na yung partido niya, yun yung paborito mong leader, basta may hint ng korupsyon, huwag nyo na i-boto. Why? Because you do it not only for yourself, you do it for the nation. Yes? Huwag ka mga kamay ng katabi mo. Sabihin mo nga sa kanya, go beyond yourself. Bumoto ka. Pwede ba sagutin mo siya? Gusto ko sanang bumoto, pero hindi ako rehistrado. So next, tano ah, mag-register ka na. Okay? So go beyond yourself. Let's go to the second one. If you want a dynamic life, you need to go beyond limits. Sabi niyo nga, limits. Sabi niyo mga disciples, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Ano sa ni Jesus? You will be my witness. Parang sinasabi niya, Lord, will you restore the kingdom? Anong sabi ni Jesus? You will. Hindi ako. Ikaw. Now think with me. How can they do this? Kung karamihan sa kanila ay mangingisda. Paano nilang gagawin yun? They are limited in their, in their ability. They're limited in their capacity. Pero tignan natin, how they did it. One day, si Peter and si John, they're roaming around, going to a temple court. And in Acts 3, 2 to 9, ito yung story, ang ganda nito, sabi dito, Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he put, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. You know, yung mga lumpo, yung mga bulag, they have a, a place, a specific place for them every time. Doon lang siya, dinadala siya dyan, may mag, nakakarga sa kanya dyan, doon siya dinalagay. At itong lumpong ito, nandyan sa lugar na yan. And when he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Humingi ng pera, humingi ng limos. And Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. Tingin ka sa amin, sabi ni Peter. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, ito yung nakakatawa, Silver or gold, I do not have. 
Di ba nakakatawa? Imagine, ikaw yung lumpo. Sabi ni Peter, tingin ka sa amin. Tingin ka sa amin. Kung ikaw yung lumpo, excited ka. Tama? Excited ka sa isip mo. Ay, salamat. Maganda ang chibog ko ngayon. Mag- Kahit tinatanong ko sa mga anak ko, sabi ko, anak, ano ba ang millennial word sa chibog? Kasi baka para makareach out ako sa mga millennial. Alam niyo ba? Hindi nila alam eh. Wala, no? Daig talaga namin ang mga millennial. Sa amin, dami namin yung word. Chibog, chicha, mga ganyan, no? lamon. <laughs> so, sabi na, ayos na chibog ko, ayos na pagkain ko. And then, sabi ni Peter, silver and gold I have none. Wala akong pera. Kung ikaw yung lumpo, anong iisipin mo? Kung ikaw yung lumpo, siguro iwanan mo si Peter, na? Ano sasabihin mo? Wala naman palang pera tong tao to. Palukat may lukat may pa. Di ba? Wala naman pera. Palukat may lukat may pa. Iiwanan mo. Kailangan ganda na sabi ni Peter. Sandali, sandali! Sandali, huwag ka muna umalis. Hindi ka naman makakalayo, lumpo ka. <laughs> sabi niya, But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and uncles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking, jumping, and praising God in the temple. Friends, do you want to accomplish great things in your life? Just say, you want to accomplish great things in your life. Then you have to go beyond your limits. Don't place your limits to the limitlessness of God. Nakawento ko na ito dito, but I really love to share this. Yung aking Japan story. Yung best ko na nakwento yan. But grabe kasi yung impact talaga yung story na yun sa akin. And, and some of you, you already know it. Five years ago, sabi ni Arun, punta tayong Japan, mag-LSS tayo. So Thursday, alis tayo. Kasi ang LSS is on Saturday and Sunday. So we have Friday, mag-ikot-ikot tayo, mag-gala tayo. Ang ganda nung plano namin kaya lang Thursday, nung palis na kami, si Arun, sabi niya, may sakit ako. Hindi ako makakasama sa iyo. Mag-pray mo ako. And kita na lang tayo doon kung makakasunod ako. Ito ang problema ko. Sa LSS, pag nagbibigay kami ng talk nila Arun, isang talk lang kami during the LSS. Dito sa LSS na to, first day, four talks. Last day, one talk. So sabi ko, kailangan makasunod ka. Sabi niya, pipilitin ko. So lumipad ako ng Japan. Pagdating ko doon sa Japan, nalaman ko na yung LSS ay hindi Sabado, kundi Friday. Friday. So sabi ko, paano gagawin ko? Dalawang toks lang yung prepare ko. Yung isa lang ang sanay akong ibigay. Yung isa nga, dagdag na. Na-stress na ako. Dadagdagan pa ng dalawa pag hindi dumating si Arun. Yung mga tao doon, sabi, Brother James, igala ka namin, pasyal ka namin, Thursday night. Sabi ko, wag na, dinner na lang. Kasi I need to prepare for the talk. Dumating yung Friday, morning, ini-expect ko siya, dumating, walang bumbay na dumating. In Indian, na Indian talaga. Hindi dumating. Inaantay ko ng tanghali, wala pa din. Dumating, patapos na ang LSS. Pero alam nyo, yung first talk pa lang, gulat talaga ako. Kasi before that talk, sabi ko, Lord, bahala ka dito. Dinala mo ko rito, alam ko, hindi mo ko papayain. Dinala mo ko rito, alam ko, alam mo, hindi ako ganun kagaling. Pero pinadala mo ko dito, ikaw ang bahala. Holy Spirit, bahala ka na. Pero alam mo, first talk pa lang, iyak na yung mga tao. Bakit? Tinirgas ko. 
Hindi. <laughs> Bakit? Dahil magaling ako? Hindi. Dahil magaling ang Diyos na kasama ko. Friends, I believe that we are called to live a supernatural lives. That's why God has given us a supernatural strength. And that strength is His Spirit. He wants you to act. Yes, He wants you to act to, to be part of this work. But He wants you to act in the Spirit. Kaya halimbawa, kung ang nature mo mahiyain ka, natatakot kang sumubok sa sales, pero yun yung makadagdag ng, ng kita sa pamilya mo, for you to earn income, extra income, then you ask for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, tulungan mo ako. And I believe that the Holy Spirit can give you the supernatural courage to speak to people. Kung ang nature mo, ang hirap mo magpatawad, then you can ask for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, tulungan mo ako. Give me the strength to forgive. And I believe that the Holy Spirit can give you the supernatural power to forgive and to transcend that failures of others. If your nature is easily affected by your spouse, pag sa konting shortcoming niya, umiinit ka na, hirap, hirap ka na makitungo sa kanya, the Holy Spirit can give you the supernatural power beyond your weakness or beyond his weakness and see the goodness in him. Because God wants you to live supernatural life because he wants you to enjoy this life Kaya ganda ng sinabi ni ng isang poet si Henry Blakely If we function according to our ability alone we get the glory But if we function according to the power of the Holy Spirit within us, God gets the glory. Amen. Sige, let's give God a big hand. Kaya kung meron kang hindi kayang gawin, ask for the Holy Spirit. Tapos yun know, ang maganda ron, kasi pag nakita mo that is beyond your limit, beyond your strength, then you will see that the working of God, the power of God is in your life and that will give you hope in your situation. Yes? Kaya hingi ka sa kanya ng tulong. Hingi ka ng tulong. Huwag mga kamay ulit na katabi mo, sabihin mo nga sa kanya, go beyond your limit. Sagutin mo nga siya, sabihin mo, sige, Mula ngayon, magtitimpi na ako sa iyo. What's the first one? Go beyond self, go beyond live. And this is the third one. Let's go back to Acts 1:8. And it says here, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You know, tatlong part po yan. Parang sinasabi ni Jesus sa kanila, part one is Jerusalem, you go local. Dito muna sa local, you preach the gospel there. And then, you go Judea and Samaria. You go regional or and cross-cultural. Kasi dun sa Judea, it's a neighboring town. Mga kalahi nila yung nandun. Pero in Samaria, ang nandun yung mga taga-Samar. <laughs> De, mga sa- Samaritano. And yung mga half Jew and half uh, pagan. So ibang lahi, kaya cross-cultural. And part three, ano sabi niya? End to the ends of the earth. Saan yung ends to the end of the earth? For look, ends of the earth is Rome. Yung Roma. Bakit Roma? Kasi that is the seat of power. And if you look at the last chapter of Acts, in chapter 28, you will see that the ending of the mission of Paul and Luke ended in Rome. Doon namatay si Paul. Pero ito yung maganda. Hindi natapos sa Rome yung mission. Hindi natapos. Kasi umabot sa Las Piñas. 
Diba? Umabot sa Pilipinas. Umabot sa Pilipinas. What am I trying to say? Here's the third way of living a dynamic life. Ready? Go beyond the expected. Can you say that? I know dito sa feast, we do not just preach the gospel. Yung para, eh, may preach lang, ma'am. may turo lang sa iba. But we want to go beyond the expectation. Dati si Bo lang yung preacher. At si Bo, okay na si Bo eh. Tama ba? Pag nag-preach si Bo, talagang hindi pwede hindi ka tatamaan. Pag nag-preach si Bo, hindi pwede hindi ka nga nga. Kasi English. Diba? <laughs> Kaling eh. Sosyal. Kailang ito yung problema. Paano yung mga hindi sosyal? Paano yung mga hindi sosyal? Hindi pupunta ng feast. Bakit? Kasi hindi sila makrelate. So, anong ginawa ni Bob? He goes beyond the expectation. Kumuha na hindi masyadong sosyal na builder. Yan. <laughs> hindi yung sosyal talaga yan. Kasi parang kobo yan. Kita niya naman, long hair. Yung pag nag-worship. Talagang haba ng buho. Tapos, hindi na tapos doon. Sabi niya, hindi pwedeng, hindi lang sosyal. Paano naman yung, yung cross-cultural? Paano yung ibang lahi? So, kumuha na ibang, na isa pang preacher, na foreigner. Bumbay, di ba? Hindi, hindi. Alam niyo, marami tayong preacher ngayon sa, sa ibang bansa. Indonesian preacher. Meron din tayong Singaporean preacher. Bakit? Kasi, we have to go beyond the expectation. And then, sabi ni Bo, we have to go and preach to the next generation. We want to preach to the ends of the earth. Mga kabataan, yan ang kailangan nating i-preach. So, kailangan natin ng mga bata. Kaya kami kinuha. Hindi, hindi. Hindi ako kasama na. Sila brother of Mike Binya, sila John Sila. Kumuha ng mga kabataan. Friends, look at me. If you want to live a dynamic life, you need to do extra mile. You have to go beyond expectation. Hindi enough na mabait ka lang. Dapat may ginagawa ka rin kabutihan sa kapwa. Yes? Hindi enough yung pinag-aaral mo yung anak mo para maging mabuting tao. Dapat turuan mo rin siya paano magpakatao. Magkaiba yun, ha? Magkaiba yun. It's not enough na hindi ka ng bababae. Dapat yung relationship mo sa asawa mo. Dapat growing. Tapos nga kami ng mga mag-asawa dito. Hindi enough na hindi ka ng bababae. Hindi enough na hindi ka nagtatatalak. Hindi enough yan. Dapat yung relationship ninyo, growing. That's why I would like to invite you to attend our last retreat. Galing ng pasok, ha? June 1 to 2, 2019. Angels Retreat. Ang mura lang, oh. 4-5. 4-5 lang, couple na. Sa iba, oh, 9,000, 10,000. Dito, 4-5 lang. Mura lang yan. Mga husbands, saas nga kami ng mga husbands. Dito ako mag-invest. Dito ako mag-invest. Kasi nag-invest ka sa kotse. Nag-invest ka sa relos. Nag-invest ka para maganda yung sa sasakyan mo. Pero yung misis mo, bulok. Hindi, hindi, I'm not demeaning the wives. Huh? Ang gusto ko lang sabihin ito, yung mga asawa natin, parang bulaklak yan. Tama ba? Kailangan alagaan, kailangan diligan, kasi kung hindi, mabubulok. Tama? Kaya dapat umatin ka ng lax retreat. Okay? Sige mo yung katabi mo. Sabihin mo, atin tayo. Ayaw talaga. Eh. Friends, I believe that God wants us to live a dynamic life. Not a stale life. And has given us the power to live this kind of life. And that power is the holy Spirit. This morning, we're going to do a prayer session. Simply lang naman yung prayer session. Like, katulad lang yung ginagawa natin weekly. 
But this time we're going to ask for the power of the Holy Spirit. What I want you to do is this. I want you to close your eyes, bow down your heads. Mamena, and we we'll just raise our hands in worship. And we're going to ask for that power. Actually, the Holy Spirit is already in us. But sometimes we fail to to activate Him and use Him. Yung minsan, gusto mong umasa doon sa sarili mong lakas, tapos pag hindi mo nakaya, nagigive up ka na. That's why this morning, we want to activate the Spirit by asking Him to work in our lives. Because maybe some of you, you have projects that you are venturing into. Tapos natatakot ka kasi di mo lang kung paano, di mo lang kung kaya mo. Or maybe you are in the new season of your life. Yung pa-retire ka na. Kasi di mo lang kung mangyayari doon after retirement. So we need the power of the Holy Spirit to guide us in this new season. Or kagagraduate mo lang, di mo lang kung paano maging takbo ng trabaho mo. So we need the Holy Spirit. Or you find no life in your relationship. Yung parang wala nang pagmamahal. Then we need the Holy Spirit. Or maybe you are sick and it's worsening and you are about to give up. Maybe you need the Holy Spirit to tell you, no, do not give up. I'm here. I can help you. Or maybe you do not have passion in life anymore. Yung nagigising ka na lang kasi ayaw mo kitalin yung buhay mo pero hindi mo na gusto yung nangyayari. And the Holy Spirit is here. So are you ready? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready for the power of the Spirit? If you're ready, let's bow down our heads, close our eyes. And if this is a comfortable posture, just raise your hands in the air. See if you can make all of There are no people here other than you. I don't know your situation. I don't know your needs. I don't know your problems. I don't know the areas in your life that you want to give up. But the Holy Spirit is here. The same Spirit who gave power to the disciples is here and He can empower us. Maybe you need Him because of your relationship. You want to bring your families to, to Him. You want to bring your friends to Him. And you want to follow Him. And disciple other, other people, but you do not have the courage, you do not have the strength, you do not have the power. But He's here. And He's ready to empower us. pray this morning I know you called us here in the feast not just to enjoy and talk, not just to have laughter, not just to pass time but you know we are here because you want to have, you want, you want us to have a dynamic life ayaw mo ng buhay na walang gana ayaw mo ng buhay na walang pag-asa that's why we come before you today and we pray for the same power to be poured out to every people raising hands right now in this place. Same power that transformed the disciples and gave this life to you. Same power that enabled them to preach the gospel. Same power that enabled them to go beyond themselves, go beyond their limit, go beyond the expectation and they live a dynamic life. Lord, we want the same life. We want a dynamic life. We want a dynamic relationship. We want a dynamic well-being. We want a dynamic hell. That's why we come before you and empower us. Empower your people. Holy Spirit, come and ignite the fire in our hearts. We're ready for you.